Hi, hello everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo, and over there, John Longdowski. All right, John. Hi. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com or visit them on eBay and type in Hockey Locker and I'm sure their profile will pop up. All righty. Um, John, I'll take the stats for today. How about that? We'll change things up. All right. That's on goal of the first period. We're 10 to 6, uh, Milwaukee. And shots of the second period were 14 to 12 for Iowa. And shots on goal were 9 to 4 for Milwaukee in the third. Um, in total, Milwaukee outshoots Iowa 31 to 24. Uh, on the power play, Milwaukee was over 2 with 27 penalty minutes, 7 infractions. And Iowa went one for four with 13 minutes, five infractions. All right. Scoring in the first period for Iowa at the 1948 mark was Simon Johansson scoring his third of the year, assisted by Nick Patton, his eighth, and Sammy Walker, his second. Then in the second period at the 1436 mark, the Admirals get on the board from Igor Afanasyev. Scoring his third of the year, assisted by Jasper Weatherby, his first of the season. That was on the shorthand. Then minutes later, the Wild score with a goal from Stephen Fogarty. That's his second of the year, assisted by Andy Walensky, his first, and Nick Patton, his ninth. That was on the power play. Then the third at the 1825 mark, Iowa gets on the board again with a goal from Andy Walensky. Scoring his first of the year, that was on a long, empty night. In net for the Admirals was Troy Grosnick stopping 21 of 23 with two goals against. In net for the Iowa Wild was Jasper Wallstead. He stopped 30 of 31 with one goal against. Your three stars of the game, third star was Andy Malinsky with a goal and an assist. Nick Patab with two assists and Jasper Wallstead with 30 saves on 31 shots. Um, today, my crop list includes Roland McEwen, Cal O'Reilly, and Schaefer, Reed Schaefer. That is your bad day moment. Oh, well, we might as well add Jasper Weatherby. Even though he has a plus one, he would have been a minus one had he, uh, or I'm sorry, never mind that. Uh, minus ones are Joachim Kebel, Jordan Gross. Um... Yeah, this just hasn't been the Admiral's season this year to start off well. No, um, it hasn't. They've taken way too many penalties in the first six games. I know they're young and they need to work on their discipline, but it's just killing us. However, LaRue's abuse of an official, if you're going to take that call, at least hit him. <laughs> right. That was bad. They gave him an abuse of an official for disagreeing with a call. Right. So, either give him a muzzle, because this is his second one for mouthing off, which will probably mean a game suspension, and we're already down, guys, so... This is what we get. Yep. Um. So, you know, I. it's a long year... And who knows what kind of run we could go on. Right. We got faith in Carl and Yarrow to hold us in there. I'm I'm just not sure where things are wrong right now and may take a little time to figure that part out. Right. If I'm Nashville, I'm looking down here going, uh, my top guys aren't producing. Right. Now what do we do? So, it's just one of those things. Kemmel's not starting well. Grosnick's not starting well. Averaging three goals against per game. Um, Give up three goal Cooley for three goal Goose. Uh, not so sure how I feel about this, but we'll see what happens. 
Back yeah. after it again on Saturday. Right. Um, come on out Saturday, UW Panther Arena, Veterans Night, all military personnel um, get in free with their uh, paperwork. I believe you need like your either your discharge or your current paperwork. But yeah, all military personnel and veterans get in for free. So come on out and have some fun. Hopefully we can beat. I don't even remember who we're playing. <laughs> mm -hmm. That'd be helpful. Grand Rapids, thank you. My 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 helpful people. Ah, but I have new stuff coming for you. Just so that you guys are aware of what's upcoming for the Admirals. Um, just so that everyone's aware, on November 18th, Nashville, Hockey Fights Cancer Night. And by the way, please enjoy our uh, Hockey Fights Cancer uh, graphics and takeover of our page. Our page has turned purple. For the 25th anniversary of Hockey Fights Cancer uh, amongst the three leagues uh, between the NHL, AHL, and ECHL, I believe also at one point the IHL was part of it, but upcoming. Like I said, we have our Salutes of Military Night against Grand Rapids. We have Dog Day coming up against the Wolves. We have Wizards Night, which is salute to all things wizardry. Um, I believe this is just another... Off of the Harry Potter night, there's an autograph corner. Get two of the Admiral's autographs. Uh, night at the Barn, which is basically a night at the petting zoo for the Admiral's. Uh, a night at the Barn package, you get uh, that you can get an Admiral's hat and a ticket. Um, uh, we Energy Calendars, December 2nd. That's coming up with 20 years of elf. Man, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> December 6th, you have um, you have autograph quarter and the ad. Uh, December 20th, the Admirals drop the gloves against cancer, and it's our hockey fights cancer night. I know this is hockey fights cancer month, but apparently I don't don't ask. We have a don't ask, don't tell policy here. Um, so we have uh the 20th also is an autograph corner, 27th is princess night and t-shirt night from that wonderful guy over there at Groover Law Offices. Uh, the Admiral's Cowbells brought to you yet again by Potawatomi, uh, with as well on the 30th as Pat McCurdy performs. And that is your giveaways for the remainder of the 2023 year. I will be giving another update in about two weeks. Um, giveaway to keep an eye on, though. If you want a one that's going to sell out quickly. That will be March 9th, Yaroslav Askarov Bench Press. Askarov Bench Press. I don't know if the net actually moves. It doesn't look like it. But it's also uh, STEM night. Uh, school day game after that. Oh, wait. We do have a school day game coming up as well. I believe it's oh. next Wednesday, isn't it? Yes, it is. There is a school day game, I believe, next Wednesday. Oh, joy. Uh, what is that? Uh, 9,000 screaming children. Hey, John, you know, we used to go to those. I should try and get you to come out for that. <laughs> he, he's like, I barely like getting up for these games. And I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not morning people over here. <laughs> So um, we will see you all on Saturday. Saturday, we got another mega show for you, except for this time. No Atlanta, sadly, I don't think. What, this Saturday? No, John knows that one better than I do. Yeah, give me just a second. <laughs> While we're waiting on that, um, I know that the uh, Preds take on Edmonton at 2 o'clock Central Time. And that uh, the Admirals play uh, Grand Rapids. As well as into that, we are going to be doing in the system NHL news and talking a little bit about reloca uh, relocation for some teams. We're going to talk about the Ottawa Senators issues that they're having so far this year amongst their suspension and now potentially losing a first round pick in the next three years. 
ownership issues, and so much more in that organization, as well as what else we got here? Um, uh, well, this weekend is a week, week in the hockey in Atlanta. Uh, Friday, the uh, Gladiators take on the Icemen, and then Sunday, they take on the South Carolina Stingrays. Okay. Um, uh, Atlanta starting off hot. They are uh, four and oh. Yep, undefeated. So, uh, Goose, uh, Gus, Gus down there doing wonders for them. Uh, I wasn't so sure how he'd do, uh, in, in, at this, at this or that level. Um, you know, didn't get to see a whole lot of them. So, um, there's that. Um, also, uh, check out the Milwaukee Admirals website, uh, MilwaukeeAdmirals.com or Milwaukee Admirals. Um, well, yeah, you can just go to MilwaukeeAdmirals.com and click on their shop. They have jerseys for sale. Um, I'm seeing Grimaldi, Sherwood, Jankowski, Mutter, Thompson, Mateer. These are guys that are just here. Uh, McCarran's in Nashville. Gross is here. Tomasino's in Nashville. Uh, McEwen's still here. Delgado's, well, floating back and forth. Kemmel, they have Kemmel's jersey. Um, so yeah, they've got a ton of game worn jerseys still left from last year. So check out the Admirals website. Plenty to sell there. Um, but come on out to a game. Plenty to do in the month of November. Um, the Admirals play in Rockford on uh, the uh, day after Thanksgiving. So if you're down for a road trip, go on down there and uh, have your Black Friday shopping in Rockford, Illinois. Um, as well as there's an Admirals game the next night, and then we play the Wolves. <laughs> yeah. So plenty of hockey to be had, whether it be here or there. We're we're it's not that far. You're you're not talking about bad travel. Maybe just some uh, bad experiences. Uh, eh, I've had those in Rosemont. Not so much in Rockford. Their fans have been pretty nice to us. So I don't have, uh, but that, that's a common trend amongst things I hear amongst Rockford fans and Grand Rapids fans, as well as the ones that come to our games and do chat with me. Um, you know, uh, they, they're kind of like, eh. They, they like me, but they don't like me. <laughs> but it's just because of this. I they're, they're, Beyond this, we're friends. <laughs> but anyway, um, also uh, check out, like I said, our sponsor, Hockey Locker. And check out who we sponsor, TNT Racing. They have an interesting upcoming season next summer. Um, we're already preparing for racing next year. So lots of fun to be had. So, see y'all.